I've been asked many times, uh, you know, how do you deal with these crises successfully? Well, when you're 24, 25 years old, you're on a nuclear submarine, you're the officer of the deck, and you're in the middle of a Soviet torpedo exercise, um, you grow up fast, uh, and you realize that you have to focus, that people are depending upon you, their lives depend upon you. After that, everything else is easy. Working for PG&E, the, the camaraderie is really what, what attracts us here. Um, there were other, other positions that I worked at that, uh, again, that one thing that was missing um, was the camaraderie factor. We, when you get here, it's not just about um, having the job, having the career, it's about uh, taking care of your brother, being your brother's keeper. I was applying to jobs for the whole three years, just trying to really figure out what I could do. So I never thought it would really happen, and then finally got the call. It was probably one of the best days of my life, be able to share that with myself and my family. You can't hide from your history. Over time, the 60s and the 70s, the relationship between Columbia University and the military obviously had its rough patches, but the last decade's been a renaissance for us, um, in large part with two active wars um, in Afghanistan and Iraq, large numbers of men and women in service, large numbers of men and women cycling out. Um, we've made a, a determined effort to go out and say, this is a place where Veteran students will find a, a fantastic education, certainly at the undergraduate level and really at all the schools at the, the university.